Hello beautiful souls. So I'm grateful today that we were able to sit with the thought that I rest in God so that we may remember the truth that I am as God created me to be. And so today we are on to lesson 110, perfectly seated, perfectly placed as always. I am as God created me to be. So let's see what flows forward from the beautiful lesson today. We will repeat today's idea from time to time. For this one thought would be enough to save you and the world if you believed that it is true. Its truth would mean that you have made no changes in yourself which have reality nor changed the universe so that what God created was replaced by fear, evil, misery, and death. As I even pause for a second with the first paragraph, that is a massive statement to be saying that if we accept this one thought, it is enough to save you and the world. The key sentence here is, if you believed that it is true. So we are to accept the truth that I am as God created me instead of the thoughts I am what I made of myself. Generally speaking, we identify with the body. We identify with our character, our personality, everything that has happened in our world, everything that has brought all of our life experience together to be where we are today. That is what we've learned in this world. That is not what we are. They are labels for this avatar body and everything that it can do and function in this world but it is not what we are and so the truth of the statement I am as God created me to be literally allows us to be the saviors of the world and this is how we become miracle workers and then we get to see in truth that there is no opposite to the love of God there is no opposite to the truth that is eternal and that allows us the vision to see beyond everything that takes place amongst the characters of this dream on earth to the true reality of heaven that is happening here simultaneously because heaven never vanishes it never goes away it is our state of being it is our state of being as god created us to be so to continue <laughs> if you remain as god created you your fear has no meaning evil is not real and misery and death do not exist. Today's idea is therefore all you need to let complete correction heal your mind and give you perfect vision which will heal all the mistakes that any mind has made at any time or any place. It is enough to heal the past and make the future free. It is enough to let the present be accepted as it is. It is enough to let time be the means for all the world to learn the escape from time and every change that time appears to bring in passing by. By asking for what we truly, truly want, which is to know the truth as God created us to be in the receiving and the acceptance of it acceptance of it. We've literally corrected all of the mistakes that anyone here has ever made past, present, future to come. Indeed, this is a lofty thought. Indeed, this is a powerful thought. Indeed, this is the truth that we can all share and rejoice in. If you remain as God created you, appearances cannot replace the truth. Health cannot turn to sickness, nor can death be substituted for life or fear for love. All this has not occurred if you remain as God created you. Hmm. You need no thought but just this one to let redemption come to light the world and free it from the past. Ha. Ah. Hmm. In this one thought is all the past undone. The present saved to quietly extend into a timeless future. 
if you are as God created you, then there has been no separation of your mind from his, no split between your mind and other minds, and only unity within your mind. So if we perceive a split, if we perceive someone as different than us or separate from us, or that there are attackers and abusers and people to blame and to judge, then you better believe that we are not seeing ourselves or this world truly. Our mind is whole, our mind is one, and it is united with God for all of eternity. And so if we are not experiencing the peace that our Father offers us, then our function is forgiveness and to ask the Holy Spirit to undo these misperceptions of our mind so that we may remember that we are God, as God created us and be restored to the unity of mind. Hmm. The healing power of today's idea is limitless. It is the birthplace of all miracles, the great restorer of the truth to the awareness of the world. Practice today's idea with gratitude. This is the truth that comes to set you free. This is the truth that God has promised you. This is the word in which all sorrow ends. This is also amazing too because it's showing us that the truth isn't hidden. <laughs> that, <coughs> excuse me. That the truth isn't waiting for us at some distant future time. The truth is here now for us to receive. And Jesus is saying, here it is serving it to us on a silver golden platter for us to simply recognize it as the truth and to say hallelujah and so it is so for your five minute practice periods begin with this quotation from the text i am as god created me his son cannot suffer his son can suffer nothing and i am his son i am as god created me his son can suffer nothing, and I am his son. And sometimes, for me, because this world is built in with male and female roles, it is easy for the ego mind to say, oh, how can I be the son of God? I'm a daughter. I'm a daughter of God. Well, that's fine. But in truth, there is only one son. And son is the interpretation with which we give it, and the one that the Holy Spirit gives us is the same. And for me, I see son as also S-U-N, the light, the Christ, the one soul in which God created, and we are all here experiencing it together. And so let not the words distract you from the acceptance of this truth. The son isn't held out for just one son like Jesus. The son is all of us equally together. So just let all of the thoughts that may counterbalance this subside and again, rest into God, rest into the space, rest into peace. And then the truth of this will dawn upon our mind and then it will be undeniable and the words will be irrelevant. It's the content that's accepted. So then, with this statement firmly in your mind, try to discover... Hmm, Try to discover your mind, this self, who is the Holy Son of God himself. Seek him within you, who is Christ in you, the Son of God and brother to the world, and Savior, who has been forever saved, with power to save whoever touches him, however lightly, asking for the word that tells him he is brother unto you. Hmm, the power of willingness. You are as God created you. Today, honor yourself. Let graven images you made to be the Son of God instead of what he is be worshipped not today. Deep in your mind, the Holy Christ in you is waiting your acknowledgement as you. And you are lost and do not know yourself while he is unacknowledged and unknown. You do not know yourself, while the Christ is unacknowledged and unknown. Seek him today and find him. He will be your savior from all idols you have made. For when you find him, you will understand how worthless are your idols and how false the images which you believed were you. Hmm. 
Today we make a great advanced truth by letting idols go. Bodies. Characters. Other gurus. Today we make a great advancement to truth by letting idols go and opening our hands and hearts and minds to God today. We will remember him throughout the day with thankful hearts and loving thoughts for all who meet us today, for it is thus that we remember him. And we will say that we may be reminded of his son, our holy self, the Christ in each of us. I am as God created me. I am as God created me. I am as God created me. Let us declare this truth as often as we can. I am as God created me. This is the word of God that sets you free. This is the key that opens up the gate of heaven and which lets you enter in the peace of God and his eternity. Yes. So no longer we're going to worship the idols of the body, which is worshiping death, but we're going to worship life and eternity and the Son of God, which is what we are. And so as we bring forward the truth that we can rest in God and worship our Father God for him creating us in perfect wholeness and peace, we will experience the perfect wholeness and peace and it will shine throughout the world so that we can be saviors of the world and bring these miraculous remembrances to all the minds who are calling to be helped, who are calling to love. <sighs> so with that being said, I am as God created me. I am as God created me, and I love you all. So enjoy today's lesson. Bye.